Hey guys, welcome back to How to DIY and Save a Dime. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a Walmart slash Aldi's haul. We needed to re-up on some produce and get some waters and stuff. Now I want to share some tips um, on things that are like really good for you health-wise that I've been researching and finding out. If you ever get a chance, check out Healthy Alternative. When I did my fast, my water fast um, over a year ago and then one almost two years ago, I lost a lot of weight. And now I'm trying to fast again because eating things that I shouldn't be eating has <laughs> crept up on you, girl, okay? So I'm going to probably be sharing that with you on another channel. Not sure exactly how I want to do it, but I really want to do better. So I've been trying to um, incorporate certain things. Now, we're going to start from the right-hand side. Now I'm going to take it, you know, one day at a time and not just go overboard with just jumping in cold feet, but I'm going to transition and stop buying certain things that I don't need to buy. I am a sweet eater. I am a sweet tooth girl. So snacking is my thing. So it's kind of hard. So to try to substitute, I'll try to do more fruits and maybe just eat a little mini bowl of cereal every now and then or something like that. So with that being said, let's get into the haul. So over here we have some cauliflower. This is from Aldi's. Um, my daughter was supposed to get light color sesame oil, but she ended up getting this. And I said, well, we're just going to keep it because I do a lot of Asian foods and I'll use it one day. Um, and it's very good. If you don't know about sesame oil, I've shared this with you guys. If you've been rocking with me for a while. And this is the one from Walmart by the Imperial Dragon. Then she, I guess, had a little sweet tooth. She's always buying these pocky sticks and she bought these cookies and cream pocky sticks. Now we wanted to do our own veggie pizza and Alfredo like white sauce pizzas. So I thought these were bigger. When she goes to the store, she kind of duels me. I thought these were bigger than they looked on the video, but it's fine. You get two of them and it's like a personal pan. And I think that's pretty cool to kind of stay down on eating, um, you know, minimize eating so much um, food and just one each. And we might eat a salad or something like that with it. So these though. Boboli, Boboli, or have, I say Bertoli. I don't know where I get Bertoli from, but I always call it Bertoli crust. So instead of making your own, I just got these. And um, these are eight inch mini crust and you get two of them. So I got those from Walmart. Then I have some broccoli florets. I love florets. I don't really like stems. And it's really hard for me to find broccolini. Like, I cannot find broccolini. Where do you get your broccolini from? Comment below. Let me know where you get your broccolini from. And do you like to make personal pan pizzas at home? What kind of pizzas do you like to make when you make personal pan? Or if you buy frozen pizza for those quick days you don't want to cook, what type of pizzas do you buy? Is it cheese, veggie, um, vegan, cauliflower pizza? What type of pizzas do you buy and what type do you enjoy? Then we have spinach. We're going to use that for salads and also for the pizzas. Then moving over to the left, we have some honey wheat from Aldi's. I have some mozzarella for the pizzas, some age white cheddar. Now this mozzarella and this age white cheddar comes from Aldi's. So good. This cheese is so good. I eat this with turkey pepperoni and sometimes I'll eat it with turkey pepperoni and like Ritz crackers or a wheat thin or something. Or sometimes I just take a piece of this and roll a piece of this over it and just eat it like that. It's This cheddar is good. It's kind of pricey. It's about three something, but it's really good. Then I have three bags of Caesar salad. My daughters love Caesar salad. They will make a salad in a quick minute when they're like that. So those are the kids. Actually, it's four bags of those. Then I have some limes because... I have some distilled water over there. And after doing research, um, for many years, I've been getting away from drinking. Not, not many years been getting away from drinking, but I have been trying to get away from drinking. Definitely don't want to drink tap water and also not drinking bottled water, but I will drink the Crystal Glacier water. Now, I have a big five-gallon jug, and we have an actual spring, an actual well here, but I haven't been able to get there. It's a little dry, but I think that I'm going to start getting my water from there because it's the same as getting distilled because it's the real deal from the ground, the real deal with all the great minerals that we need that's not in our tap water. So that's the still water. We got three of them and those are 98 cents. I'm jumping over there because I'm talking about these. Now, when you use the bathroom after you've drink and drink water, right? Here's what I found out. When you're using the bathroom, what are you doing? You're wasting, releasing waste, right? So if you're releasing waste and that's what happens when you use the bathroom, one or two, Think about it. This guy said, he said on Alternative um, Living, Healthy Alternatives on YouTube. It's a great guy. I love him. He's so informative. And check out that channel. And so he said, the reason we drink water and then have to use the bathroom constantly is because the water that we drink in is bad. 
It's, it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. It doesn't have a lot of good things in it. So the body does not retain it. It actually releases it. And when you are swelling up, that means like if your ankles are swelling, you're getting swollen from standing and different like that, things like that. That's because your body is dehydrated. So you're thinking that you're putting liquids in there, you're drinking water, you're drinking Aquafina, you're drinking Nestle water and all this, but you're actually not. Your body is just pushing it directly out. So distilled water is a water that is much better, has more minerals and nutrients in it, and you are supposed to charge your water. So you would take that water, put it in a clear glass, and if you have sun, you can set it out on your porch for a couple couple hours or whatever and it will charge your water he he explains the molecules and how when you drink it it is a different feeling to your body than it is when you're just drinking bottled water and so I am on a journey to get this water in my body so I'm not dehydrated because I do deal with being dehydrated because I'm not a person who likes to drink water like that especially when I'm not eating right but I gotta get it all together so I'm throwing that in there now if you don't have a lot of sunlight, he said, what you should use are cucumbers, limes, key limes. So cucumbers, key limes, and they, these are just Parisian. These are just regular limes. So you could use cucumbers, limes, or key limes, and strawberries. Those automatically give the water the charge that it would get through the sunlight. So I'm going to start infusing. And I know, yes, you've heard of infused water. We put the cucumbers, the strawberry, and the lemon. The lemon. We thinking it's for flavor. You know, it's good. It's good fruits. And you know, you're getting all the good things out of the fruits, but it's actually much more important and much more vital to the body to have that. So these things will charge the water if you're in an area that doesn't get a lot of sunlight. So I just want to throw that in there. So here are my glass bottles. The sun had went down, but the actual fruit is going to actually charge them. But I have them sitting here, and then I'll just take them out um, in a little bit. But I put two limes in each one and about, I'll say, four or five strawberries in each side. So that's my charge water. I got the limes. Got some carrots because I want to start munching on these with some um, Italian dressing or some ranch dressing just to switch it up. Got some... Um, Mushrooms because I'm going to be putting those on my veggie pizza. I got some peppers with the three peppers, the orange, red, and yellow. And I got green peppers and I'm going to be putting those on my pizza as well. And then behind, well, my daughter, she, this is when you know she has a sweet tooth because she's going in there buying all types of sweets. So she wanted the hazelnut and she likes to eat this with the bananas. We got those from Aldi's as well. Then we always like to have these pineapples in the refrigerator. They are so good, soft, and always sweet from Aldi, from Walmart. So that's from Walmart. And then um, we have the golden honey gold potatoes from Aldi's. And we love to have these on deck. We really like to eat those and I'll cut them up and make some really good bref breakfast um, potatoes. Then I have a cabbage. And then I have a little mini watermelon, which I've never bought a little mini watermelon. I wondered how it tastes and I told my daughter to grab it. So she did. Now, let me come a little closer. Um, over here, we have my favorite drink from Aldi's. This is so good, guys. Oh, my gosh. You got to try this. This juice is so good. Um, and I know I probably would have already loaded the other haul before this one. So, you would see. I think I had that in my last haul. Then, moving back over here. I know I got two boxes, guys. And coffee dehydrates the body. It's really not good. But I don't like a really strong coffee. I always get like a percentage that's like really low. Um, and this is my French vanilla flavor coffee. And you get 12 cups. And it's like $3.29, I think. So I got two boxes of those um, from Aldi's. And I am, let me tell you, I found out that I was a punk coffee drinker. I'm not a good coffee drinker. Meaning I do not, I only drink one cup. And I might drink one, one every, without, within seven days, I might drink coffee three, maybe four times that week. Only one cup. When my cup is gone, it's, that's it. I don't make multiple cups. I'm not a, um, my friend said, oh girl, I make a whole pot. And in that pot, it gives me eight cups and I drink them cups throughout the day. I was like, whoa, I thought I was drinking something. I thought I was doing something. And then I make it weak because I put more creamer. <laughs> And other things in it than I do just with drinking coffee. So, yeah, kind of minimizing a little bit. And I've never been a Starbucks drinker because those are just too strong for me. So, yeah. Then Rizzy wanted her curlers. Um, you probably seen I had those in the other video. And we got those again for her. You see we have two things of strawberries. And she wanted some more cinnamon toast crunch. So, I got those. And then I have some regular um, unsweetened almond breeze. And then I have some vanilla almond breeze. And I believe, guys... That is my haul. Oh, 
And just the update, those cereal con um, containers over there, hold on. So I did a video on these bad boys and I will say this is an update. It's been several months. I think I did these, oh gosh, months ago. These are amazing. They are amazing. The cereal stays fresh. They stay fresh. They stay fresh. We don't take a long time to eat cereal. So I just put these in there yesterday. That might stay for about a week and a half. So to me, that's not long. Um, so with that being said, the freshness of these and how it keeps the cereal, please remind me to put the link below. It's not sponsored. That's just in case someone is interested and you have children. It's just easy. They put their bowl under there and they just twist it. These are amazing. So I'm waiting for this to go down so I can put her cereal in here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I do it. When the cereal gets low, if it's too low, like maybe if it was even lower, I would put that in a Ziploc bag and then put the new cereal inside of there. Um, and yeah, they keep it fresh. So that's it guys if you have any questions if you have any comments that you want to make please leave it below if you have any um thing you want to ask me about a recipe or anything like that or what i do with certain things please feel free to do so and i will definitely get back to you if you're new to the channel make sure you join the family by hitting the subscribe bell hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i load a new video and thumbs up share the actual channel and with that being said guys i will see you guys later gators